There's always been a practice screen available with voiceover where the user could go and practice the different hand gestures and kind of get those movements and motions down pat before they really got to use the device. Unfortunately, in previous iterations of iOS, this screen was embedded under several layers of menus and options, and it took some training to be able to access it with ease. With the introduction of iOS 7, this practice screen has been moved to the forefront and can be accessed pretty much from anywhere on the device. So to activate this feature, all I have to do is double tap the screen with four fingers. So that means four fingers, two taps. Starting help. To stop help, perform a four finger double tap or two finger scrub or press escape on the keyboard. Starting help is how I know that I'm in the correct mode, right? So now every time I touch the screen or if I perform certain hand gestures, I can practice them to see if, it, if they actually register on the screen. So if I touch the screen once with one finger. Touch. Select item under your finger. So it tells me what I did and it also tells me what the function is. If I tap it with two fingers once. Two finger single tap. Pause or continue speech. Flick to the right. Flick right. Move to next item. Flick left. Flick left. Move to previous item. Flick down. Flick down. Move to next item using rotor setting. Flick up. Flick up. Move to previous item using rotor setting. This also gives me a chance to practice the rotor, which typically can be kind of complicated to master. To access the rotor function, I'm going to use the index fingers of both my hands. The index finger of my right hand is going to stay stationary, while the index finger of my left hand draws a clockwise circle around the first finger. So I'm just going to do that. Touch. Select item under your finger. Rotate clockwise. Select next row. Touch. Select item. Ro rotate clockwise. Select next row to setting. Okay, so it lets me practice these different hand gestures so that I can get them down before I start looking at accessing the other features and functions and apps of the device. And then once I'm done, I can either double tap with four fingers or I can use the two finger scrubbing motion which will close out the help. Two finger scrub escapes the current context. Stopping help. And when I hear the message stopping help, I know that we're done. And I'm back to my typical home screen.